Welcome to another Blaze and BS show. My name is Steve Blaze with NWILive.com. In the studio tonight, we've got Salamander Drake. Uh, Hello. To my left, we got Daryl Grady. Daryl Grady, how you doing? All right. Thanks yeah. for having us, Steve. Bob Ray, I have to look at you the whole night. So that kind of... I'm going to look at you, Steve. <laughs> oh, that's great. Ouch. Al, how you doing, man? Great, man. Great. Hey, I appreciate you guys coming in here. You guys got a new CD coming out called The Color Out of Dark. That is correct. Okay, and when's that coming out? I heard 2007 or eight. Yeah, or... hopefully before then. Um, yeah. We're hoping uh, we're shooting, actually, for about two, three weeks. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's not just, that bad, uh, then. Finishing up some mastering, actually. Uh, so the recording's all done. It's just a matter of uh, getting all the mastering done and... And then getting them uh, copied and produced, but but that uh, right. quick the artwork's already done. So oh, that's cool. Yeah, I saw a copy of the art- artwork. It looks pretty nice. Thanks. Uh, what? Uh, <laughs> how long did you guys work on this anyway? Oh, uh, I'd say we were recording for four months, maybe maybe really? five. Really? Yeah, and uh, you know, for um, for a local project, that's pretty long. But um, it was more of a. Uh, a couple factors on that. Time constraints, of course, with the rest of our lives going on, you know, with work and whatnot. I thought there wasn't anything else besides music. Uh, wouldn't that be nice? Wouldn't <laughs> that be nice? But the, the world had, uh, has other plans. And um, we also, uh, we did 14 tracks on this. And we also wanted to take time in, in between actual recordings, to take time to, uh, to talk and plan and to put little extra ditties on there that uh, we we knew we wouldn't be able to do if um, if we went and blacked out time at one of the the major studios around town, which which they're all great and they put out great product. But when you go in there and buy blocks of time, it's uh, pretty much you go in there, lay down everything, and, and you get out. Uh, when you did things uh, the way we did it with this way, we were trying to experiment with the fact that we could uh, we could come in. Um, a bunch of different days. Trash my basement and leave it right. trash for five months. Yeah, oh, is that where you guys did it? Yeah, in your we, basement? We oh, set up a, a, a digital right, a studio down there with an engineer, Dave Aurelio, and uh, just kept going over to Al's basement on a <laughs> weekly basis and just uh, keep attacking the stuff. So um, it was it was pretty neat. Well, that's great because I've listened to uh, it, it a couple times now, and it's uh, I keep getting I say to myself every time I listen to it, it gets better and better. Oh, I, I appreciate it. Thanks. I've got a couple on here that uh, we're going to play later on uh, that really are kind of an upbeat rock and songs. And, and man, I to tell you what, I, I turn the stereo up every time I have that on there. So thanks a lot. Yeah, no problem. Now, uh, Dave is doing what for you guys again? He's he's uh, he, he's the engineer behind it. So, right. um, and uh we, we kind of we, we gave him the task of of making an album that uh, first off it's it's completely seamless. Uh, I'm sure you've picked up on that. There's actually <laughs> only two times in the entire right. album where there's a break, and, and that's only a fraction of a second. So he had to mix and uh, and edit things to the points where um, he had to tie one thing into the other, which which uh, I don't know if we wear if it would wear a listener out or not. But uh, you know it was our intention just to. Make it one continuous. It sounds uh, like one continuous groove as it, as it goes through the whole thing. Yeah, right? it's it's interesting because you don't hear that very often anymore. Well, that's what we're, that's what we were shooting for, and, and actually, uh, I'm speaking, and uh, Bob should be uh, speaking mostly on this because uh, he's, he's that's all right. Of, I got him on mute. <laughs> he's, uh, <laughs> he's kind of the uh, the adventer of um, of of this entire concept, and uh, it's it is it is unique and. I'm speaking on Bob's behalf, but I'm pretty sure he was, you know, uh, he's drawing from his um, and ours, uh, our influences, uh, a lot of um, Pink Floyd and, and Bloister Cult and in uh, you know, a lot of the 70s bands. And uh, particularly those two, though, uh, we were kind of stuck in a phase of of being really um, intrigued with the early Pink Floyd stuff at, at this point. And we heard the things that they were doing and, and we wanted to try to incorporate that of course, we had to incorporate it on a local small studio <laughs> level, but nonetheless, you know, we gave it a go, and, and uh, we're pretty happy with what. But we're with doing the, on. you know, with the technology these days, anybody that has a computer can pretty much record a CD. Hey, if you can set up a makeshift studio in somebody's basement yeah. and, and do what we did, I think uh, no that, one ha- that speaks not every- a lot for today's. Equipment. Not everybody has the vast amount of room that I have in like a studio <laughs> in here. Where exactly, I mean, no, the kid, stones can come. This in is here really and, amazing. Yeah. I can't believe this entire warehouse belongs right, to you, though. Right. It's, it's, the, it's really something. Things. It's the uh, establishment, is what it is. So, uh, Bob, you, you got any favorite tracks on on the CD that you know you seem to like a lot more than the others? Mm, I, w- I think "Oddly Shaped Void" turned out rather nicely. Um, it's hard to tell how songs are going to turn out. Like you know, like you go over them with the band, 
you know, and every time you play it, it seems to change a little bit. And then once you record it, it's completely different than what you anticipate. I don't care who you are. And uh, hopefully it's a pleasant experience. And uh, I think in the case of Oddly Shaped Void, I was pretty happy with it. I thought it turned out rather nicely. What about you, Al? Well, I would have to say probably the song Transmute is By the way, Al, you've got a favorite. great radio voice, man. Oh, I sure do. By the way, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to say that my favorite track... Steve Stone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Definitely That's tra- right, Transmute. Guys. Yeah. Well, that, no, I'm sorry. Go ahead. What would you say? Oh, now? Your... The song Transmute. Transmute. Uh, the bass line is really cool. I love guitars. Bo- the guitars Bob. Bob's guitar work on it is just really, really cool. Right. And you guys yeah. are going to be playing that later in here too, right? Yeah, I think uh, we're going to attempt to do that one live. Attempt? It's always <laughs> an attempt. Don't scare me. It's always an attempt. <laughs> we always attempt. Uh, yeah, how did you get in, into music, Daryl? I mean, as far as... And you grew up around the region, or? Yeah, uh, actually, uh, St. John. I was going to start from Highland, but uh, the, you know, only up to the fifth grade there. But yeah, either way, I'm still in the region. So I, I was born do? here, and I'm still here. And uh, as far as getting involved in music, uh, the, it just uh, I'd have to pinpoint that to my first Led Zeppelin album. I mean, up until, up until that period in my life, it really didn't matter to me one way or the other. So uh, I had a big brother. And uh, anyone, any one of us who has a big brother knows where that's coming from. He, yeah, yeah, he throws that music <laughs> on you. He's like, "Here, listen to this." And uh, he, he bought me Led Zeppelin IV on vinyl, and and from that moment forward, I was completely uh, hooked and wanted to be involved in in music in one shape or form. Okay, uh, you know, we're gonna play my. This is my favorite song. We're just gonna play one off the CD first. Um, this is uh, Barfly, and uh, what's what's the story behind this? Is there a story? I mean, Bob, you got anything? Um, it's just uh, sort of a, a nod to Charles Bukowski, with, you know, over our heavy rock song. Oh, that's so. cool. All right, so this is Barfly off the Salamander Drake's Drake CD, the color out of the color out of dark. <laughs> 